propane hose. This hooks up to all the appliances. Yes? In order to end the podcast, it's really loud. We, you keep like uh, shouting at me. No, yeah. it's fine. To what used to be. No, it's not. Okay, today I'm going to set up the propane systems. I'm going to hang them on the chassis and I'm going to run the line so that it's underneath there. You can't have your propanes inside your school because you don't want to explode, right? Right. As you can see, this is my propane line. This is an outdoor rated propane hose. It goes to the rest of my appliances. Propane fridge, propane water heater, propane. I'm gonna drill a hole right here. Because you don't want to drill through one of the steel. So I measured it out from here. This beam correlates with that exterior window support beam. I put this stick out here so that I can mark where I am. And then I measure from this beam right here. This is the outside of the beam. You can see it's screwed off right here. I'm going eight inches in from that. So I'm gonna drive a screw up through the floor to here and then I'll do a, a hole saw going through it. Yeah. yeah! That's good news, that's exactly where I wanted it. So now I'm gonna use a hole saw, I'm gonna drill. Now I'm a little worried about the, the structural capacity of this thing. Anyways, this project kind of scares me because it's, it just feels so, I'm just so unsure of it. But whatever, we're gonna glue it together now. Here we go. Gray water comes out here, black water comes out there, and then they both go to this valve. It's all plumbed in now, so I think I got it all good. I'm gonna come back with wire, but I'm gonna let this stuff sit for a few hours, just so it can get just really dry and hard. So now I'm working on venting the tank. I'm not sure if this is going to work specifically, but I'm just going to plumb this pipe back here and then have the 90 at the end, which, and then I'll have it so that they sit back there. It'll be a little bit deeper. And that will be above the top of the tank. I think because I'm pushing the pipe into the tank, it's gonna reduce any sort of capacity for it to splash out. That's gonna be plenty of venting, but the thing is, is I'm not venting to the roof. Everybody says to vent to the roof. And I'm leaving that extra t pipe space in there so I can come back in and reconnect if I need to, but I think it's gonna be fine. Here we go. I got the 
that all the dump water is good. So here's the results. We've got the dump valve. This thing. You attach a sewer hose, an RV sewer hose to this, and you can plumb in your tanks into the sewer, and that's how you dump it. Start by opening the black, and then you open the gray. I used some baling wire to provide it some structural support all around there. Number eight wire for the Kiwis. If you get that right, everything else falls in place. Those two black pipes coming out of the tanks are my vent pipes, and this one right here is the uh, shower P-trap, and that runs along here to the other side of the tank where you've got the toilet. This one goes from the toilet down to the tanks, and that one over there goes to the sink and to the shower. This project has taken me forever, and I feel like it's done now, which is a huge win. The only thing left to plumb in is the faucet on the on uh, is the faucet in the kitchen, the shower head because the arm's already in, and the toilet, and that's it. Everything else is done. We're getting closer to done. This is our uh, wrap up for the day. V's still working on the mosaic. Yay. It looks really good, V. I'm working on the turtle. He's taking a while. There's just so many little projects, but I feel pretty accomplished because the water tanks are all hung and the propane things up, so. Yay. Does that mean you won the bet? Again, yeah. No, the yeah. first one was BS, I'm sorry. Yeah, again. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, we're still working hard on the bus. That we are. See you tomorrow!